four. Mm-mm. We ain't gonna three. Be what up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kev on stage. She's that chick angel. That chick angel. Welcome to the podcast episode. We smash that leg for a special. New bangers all 2021. More June on your head top. Patreon, I love you. Welcome to another episode. This is another one where there's just random stories that we. You know, wanted to cover. They got pushed down the docket, and they just, we just had to say something about it. Had to Angel. say something. We had to say something about it, Angel. So let's just get right to the nitty gritty. Mm-hmm. Okay, Florida mom shows up to her daughter's school wearing boxing gloves. Gritty. Square up. Fights child, gets arrested. Think I won't. Here's the funny thing about the story. She said the boxing glove wouldn't come off. She super glued it to her hand. She saw the kid she wanted to square up with. The kid went outside, I think it was middle school or high school, went outside the side door. The mom went outside the other side door, served her up. Wait a minute. What, what, sorry, the super glue just threw me off. Well, she told the police, "Where? Well, like, why did you have a? You, you came to fight. You had a you had a boxing glove on your hand." She's like, "Oh no, no, no! I oh, that was I had super glued that to my wrist uh-huh. by mistake by, when I had come it. to pick my daughter up. Mm-hmm. She was talking cash crazy, mm-hmm. and I had to see her at, at the monkey bars uh, yeah. on the strength. You know what? After probably. Once you get to middle school, because these kids be big, because, you know, they all do. the hormones in the meat <laughs> and whatnot, I can see certain things that would cause a mother to be like, I'm just going to have to fight you and go to jail. Right. What would what would cause you to fight a child? Um, it would have to take a lot because I do try to put in perspective that a lot of children who are acting out are victims of something themselves yeah 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 um but (laughs) that being said that being said i am a human and i play not about my children and allegedly you you were either in the vicinity of or saw an older white woman who were who was talking crazy who was pushed into the middle of the street Uh, yeah allegedly i saw i saw i was there i think maybe no i wasn't even at the scene Mm. of that crime um but when it comes to my child if they were um sexually assaulted in any way it would be very hard for me to remember that the predator was more than likely someone who would also i'd be like well you're about to be victim of something else this (laughs) this beaten upside the head Listen, my I remember when I took my son. My son's school is a charter school, uh-huh. and it he went from like kindergarten through fifth was at one school, mm-hmm. but the secondary school, middle school, and high school is at the same campus. Mm-hmm. So he went from my little sweet fifth grader to when I dropped him off in middle school. I see middle schoolers and high schoolers. It had been a minute since I had seen high school kids. These kids were a large portion of them were my size. Yeah, they're their height size. Height and weight. Yeah. Plus, strength of high schoolness. The energy of high schoolness. Yeah, like Marcus 6'4", right? Yes. How old was, I mean, how tall was Marcus when he was 18? He was there. Oh, he was 6'5". He was 6'5". Yes, Marcus has shrank because of weight and age. Wait, weight will pull you down? Yeah. How tall could I? I could be 6'7". You the one who holding yourself back? I could be 6'7 if I got to go all the way up. Yeah, if you would, you holding yourself down. Dang, I didn't know weight. I knew we had aged and, you know, eventually we got down to the smaller part of our life. I didn't know weight brought us down. Your weight kind of collapses the body. So I'm really 6'8". Uh, yeah. It, uh, I would say if you got down to a smooth 190, you almost clearing seven foot. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might look sick at 190. Well, you know what? Because you got a big head. I, listen, when I was young and thin, mm-hmm. and I had my shirt off, you a lollipop. I, <laughs> you a lollipop. I'm not even the dumb dumb. I'm talking about the big <laughs> one, the ones you get from like the fair. Huh. I'm talking about that's meat central. Listen, when I am thin, I am them. This is me. <laughs> this is me when I am at my thinnest. I am a punk. What is this called? Uh, funky f- punk. F- f- Pop funky. I'm one of these. I'm a bobblehead. <laughs> what is it? Got a Funko Pop. 
Funko Pop. You said everything but <laughs> Pop Funkin, uh, Funk Master uh, Pop, Funk, funk Master funky. Pop. Funky you, pop and- that's the black mom in you. Yeah, I don't know. Why do y'all? Why does God take y'all ability to know names away? Listen, when Marcus talked about <laughs> brain fog. In COVID, I was like, nigga, it sound like you had a baby. That's what it sound like. <laughs> it sounds like. Is it that? Is it childbirth? Uh, yes. <laughs> they call it uh, pregnancy brain or baby brain. That's what it is. I said, oh, COVID gives you pregnancy symptoms, headaches. So do you think now, if I, left, if I came down to 190, I could go taller? Or is it, uh, is the weight held me down I too much? I think your bones are done. <laughs> They're, they've had it. They're not going to give you nothing else. They're like, eh. You're done. We tried. Ah, oh. we tried. We tried. Yeah, I <sighs> uh, too look. That doesn't stop me from wanting to be thinner. But what I what stops too, you from being thinner? Eating. <laughs> Talk about what stops me from being eating. Eating. I'm Angel an emotional is my eater. partner on set. We are a part of what we call the double lunch crew. If we're going to be on set all day, what we ain't going to be is hungry. Well, that's what I'm not going to be. <laughs> and I can't run the risk of one of these things ain't good. Ugh. Let it be a restaurant. I'm sure I might order three I'm on like, production. Oh, come on, It's dog. coming out of my credit card anyway. Let variety? me get the spaghetti, the tacos, yes. and then like You're a tuna. You're literally milk. paying for it. I, I ain't going to be hungry, Josh. No. I'll be a lot of and things. it's not getting wasted. You know that. And my unruly cousin said, Angel, anytime you work with me, you order what you want. So all them challenge shows, let me get a flank steak. <laughs> Y'all got the curry. I want the red and the yellow. Oh, now lemonade, where you order just various entrees, give me about five of them. <laughs> and the cookies. Oh, you oh, know I got to see about it. Out of this Caramel world. crunch, I'm a dead homie, cuz. I'd be like, I need a little dessert. That's why I can't. <sighs> My biggest fear about booking the movie or TV show that I book. You're going to be fat as hell. I'm a, <laughs> the higher you get up on the call sheet, they now with COVID, you don't even got to go over there no more. No. They'll send somebody on your behalf. They're going to have the donuts down to the crafty. But no, what they're going to do is, though, the person that you're sending on your behalf is going to go on the healthier side of your behalf. Well, then you don't work for me. <laughs> Because obviously you don't care about what my heart. No, As a performer, I need that. I need that to be at my best. No, I I would need somebody. I'd be like, don't tell me the options. <laughs> don't tell me what I am turning down. You bring me and you tell me that's all they had. That's all they had was bacon double cheese. And especially sets always have the champagne and sodas. They always got the ginger ale. I don't even drink soda like it. But if there's ginger ale. Is ginger ale soda? I feel like it's medicine. <laughs> I just take it ahead of time to set up my stomach. It's, yeah, it is. I call it champagne. I it is champagne it with is. no alcohol. It it's soda light. When I get on the plane, I'm getting a ginger ale. It's part of my routine. Is it? Mm-hmm. You feel fancy. I'll be like, give me a little bit of that uh, uh, ginger ale. The there's a ginger ale hierarchy. Canada Dry is what I like. Mm-hmm. Then there's Seagram. But if you're from the Midwest, there's something called Verner's. Mm-hmm. Verners, Verners, there is. and I didn't grow up knowing about Verners. Where people in the Patreon? That's what it looks like the barrel, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did y'all grow up on Verners? And if so, where did you live? Where Verners was real? Canada Dry Bold is it's McDonald's they Sprite. Said, they said Verners is medicine for real. M- Verners, they I got to try Verners. I ain't never had it. They I said I think I've had it once. They say Verners is lit. Sprite is medicine in my household, though. The, oh yeah, mm-hmm. I heard that. I asked my mom why, and she said. Uh, Detroit, Detroit, Michigan, Detroit, Detroit, Chicago, Toledo, Flint. Yeah, that's right down. That's what your mama mm-hmm. said? No, my mom said <laughs> Sprite was to settle your stomach, but if you threw up, it was white. And that's the only thing. She said you could drink Coke or whatever. And I was just like, really? She was like, mm-hmm. Oh. She said the same thing as Dr. Pepper, but I don't believe that. Yeah. Schweppes. I forgot about Schweppes. Oh, Schweppes. Schweppes, Schweppes is, is bougie. Schweppes. Schweppes it's just got a bougie name about it. Yeah. What it's I got a bougie name about it. I'll be like, look They're the ones bougie. with the tonic water and everything, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, Club sold it. Like, oh, yeah. I know about that. Schweppes. Uh, in other news, this uh, year is the 20th anniversary of the movie Shrek. 20 oh. years? Wow. Shrek is 20, <laughs> 20 wow. years old. So Shrek, when it came out, I wasn't even the intended, uh, intended audience. I thought no. that came out when I was really young. No. No, I was grown. You were, you were Well, you were also grown when you had that half up, half down, also a little bit half more up. Uh, well, I've been grown since I was five. Yes. You were. You was wearing white diamonds. Yeah, Josh. Now this is how we feel. We, we talk about the Lion King and, yeah. and the like. 
Yeah. Shrek is 20 years 20 old. 20 years. Shrek is one of my favorite. What are those called? What's Toy Story called? It's not live action, but it's not 2D animation. I don't. I call it a, a cartoon movie. What is <laughs> It's favorites. animation, but it's not 2D like The Lion King. Mm-hmm. It's like Toy Story. Is that is it 3D animation? What is yeah, that called? Let's say that 3D animation. I used to just call it Toy Story Pixar. Toy Story, Pixar. but it's but but Shrek is like DreamWorks or something. It is DreamWorks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's it, but he's still called CGI it. <laughs> cartoon. It's 3D 3D animation animation. What computer That's animated? CGI? Janetta, how were you 20 years ago, Josh? He was uh. Eight, well, I, I was. I'm Six? turning. 28, so I was seven. seven. <laughs> he was a little one. He was around the twins I age, remember playing with the twins. Joshy. I remember when the movie came out, though. Donkey was his hilarious. Donkey, this is what I wanted to ask you. Please. I want to know Don't your top care. five 3D animation movies first. But I want you. I wanted to know, is there a funnier cartoon character than Eddie Murphy as Donkey? Because mm. I, I have thought about this. I can't. When he went on this rant about parfaits. Mm-hmm. Eddie Me Murphy. and Melissa's sister Jeez. Monique, this is our funniest part of Shrek. Mm-hmm. Everybody loves our face. He said, uh, let me find it. Best 3D animation. <laughs> you gotta look it up, Angel. Movies. I'm looking it up too, just for the sake this of this is parfait scene. Not missing any. Right, right. This is right. It. You're gonna go fight a dragon and rescue a princess just so Farquaad to give you back a swamp, which you only don't have because he filled it full of freaks in the first place. Is that about right? You know what? Maybe there's a good reason Donkey shouldn't talk. I don't get it, Shrek. Why don't you just pull some of that older stuff on him? You know, throttle him, lay siege to his fortress, grind his bones to make your bread. You know the whole ogre trip. Oh. Oh. I don't think this so. is parfait. You know what else everybody like? Parfait. Have you ever met a person you say, hey, let me get some parfait? They say, hell no, I don't like no parfait. <laughs> parfait is delicious. No! <laughs> you tense, irritating miniature beast of butter. He fit. are like onions. He fit hell nah into a children's movie. Well, absolutely. That's where DreamWorks got to flex, though. That's what I'm saying. Disney, Disney would Disney never would be able to have Eddie Murphy. Disney would Eddie never Murphy. say hell nah. I don't I, like parfait. That's Eddie Murphy toned down. Yes. A close second maybe would be Mater, but he's not. He's not Donkey. No, I he, did like Mater. Mater Mater's, was good when he in Cars Two was eating the uh, what's the green stuff wasabi. Yeah. He said he was eating and thinking it was pistachio ice cream. He got the mic. He said, ladies and gentlemen, the pistachio ice cream has turned. (laughs) That is such a specific scene. Because it's hilarious. Emperor's New Groove was funny. Kronk was really funny. Kronk was funny. Yeah. Kronk was really funny. But, I mean, they Eddie Murphy was like. You can't. You can't. The only thing Eddie is, he, didn't he play the dragon in Mulan too? Yes. That's my second. And the love story with the dragon? Come on, man. I'm looking. Ah, ah Gingerbread Man was also really funny. Uh, he was. He didn't have his he wasn't, life in the movie. Like, he, he wasn't like, I feel like, as pivotal. But, yeah, he was funny. Oh, no. He was great. He was great. Uh, Jack Black and Kung Fu Panda was okay. Ah! He wasn't as funny as Jack Black usually be, though. Nah. My husband. But I love that movie. Is all about the, um, what is that movie? It was just up here at the top. Where was it? Hotel. Zebra in Madagascar. Hotel Transylvania. Mm -hmm. He was funny. The the vampire? Yes. Uh, I don't say blah, blah, blah. (laughs) Okay. Genie. From Aladdin. Robin yeah. Williams. Now he's we got great. some competition. Yes, he That's was fair. great. He was great. He was one of Ooh, the Ooh, I never thought about that. Ooh, Edna now we got, a, we got a little bit of a competition because Genie was, he was getting after it. Oh, yeah. He was not playing. He I, was, oh, man. Genie was really funny. Oh. And he had more parts than Donkey did. Hmm. Dory was funny. Dory was oh, funny in a yeah, different she's way. She's up there with me. She's, she's, she's up there. Dory had me dying laughing with her idiocy. Oh, she was the best. Nah, and see, her funny was like on a simple note. The character was really funny. I feel like Ellen's voice really helped that. Yes. Oh, her absolutely. her natural that airy, that airy ditzy voice really helped really I mean, sell that character. Boy, Sydney. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, Lego movie, they have some, that one's like, the Lego movie has a lot of adult humor in it. It does. A lot. But I wouldn't say a singular character was funny. You know what? Let me think about it real quick. Let's take a quick break. 
All right, want to take a quick break from the show and talk to you about Scentbird. Listen, with Scentbird, I found a way to have great taste and mix up my fragrance routines without breaking the bank. Whether it's Tom Ford, Gucci, or Versace, Scentbird.com keeps me smelling good month after month. Listen, my wife craves my penis when I shower and smell good, but I don't have the best taste and style. So Scentbird's like, Kev, we got you. Don't worry about it. We're going to have you smelling right and have that penis hard tonight. And that's because of Scentbird's fragrances. I found out that I love Gucci. I love uh, YSL. And that's because of Scentbird. Sometimes I mix a little with the other just so I don't have no smell that looks, you know, uh, profile-wise like somebody else. Scentbird keeps me on track with my own situation. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. It's a flexible subscription, so you can skip any month without penalties. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $16. Every month, you get to pick what you want to receive, so there's no surprises. They'll have perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. Choose the perfume you want to try, and they'll send you a 30-day supply. And with this exclusive offer, just for our listeners, you can get 30% off your first month today. That's only $11 for your first fragrance. Go to Scentbird.com and use my code SK for the 30% off your first month. Again, that's S-C-N-T-B-I-R-D.com for you to try your first perfume and cologne for just $16. Sign on, smell amazing. And now back to the show. All right, now we're back from break. I'm going to say if we're doing top five, Robin Williams might edge out Donkey. Mm-hmm. I feel like nobody Donkey was just funny though. We Shrek got, was a different type of movie. That I think that was the thing that made me uh what's, what's tough about Edge and Donkey out though is that there were three Shreks. Shrek 2 was great. He was. We only saw one genie with Aladdin. But it was Robert such Williams. an iconic thing. It was yes. so good that people were like, man, don't make this movie again. Oh, I, and I don't think it should be made again. But they did it. Well <laughs> Mushu is Eddie Murphy in Mulan, right? Is that the dragon's name? Yeah, I think Mushu is the, the dragon. dragon, right? Mm-hmm. Eddie Murphy got two of my top five. I'm not talking about movie. How, I'm talking about character. Mushu different than the dragon? It the ain't. Donkey. It's just Eddie Murphy. Yes. It's a different it's, animal, it's but Eddie it was Murphy also just as sassy. funny. The, the, somebody said the penguins in Madagascar. They were really funny. Oh my gosh, you are correct. They were. They, they were. They make my top four. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Me and my kids still say that. Hup, 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 hup. <laughs> and so are, I'm sorry, I think Mega the minions Mind? are funny. Even though you can't I understand them. I could not get into, I love them. Uh, what was that called? Despicable Me? Oh, you couldn't? I, I was not a fan. The oh. minions are too much. Oh, I just I, felt like. That's my kids. I'm like, yeah, that's what they're doing. I like Groot. Rico! Groot. <laughs> Rico. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The oh. penguins from Madagascar got their own cartoon that was funny. Mm. So did the you know who was funny? Penguins. Boss Baby. My kids watch it all the time, but I did not get into it like that. Boss Baby was funny. Boss Baby. Genie Donkey Mushu. So Who's just, Edna? I'm reading this. Oh, uh, from, uh, from Incredibles. Incredibles. The costume lady. Oh, Edna wasn't that funny. She she had witty humor, though. She was witty, but I am like, well, Edna killing it. She was right. funny, though. Um. So you just naming? The oh, and, best, and Robin Williams. You're naming the funniest. Yeah, and I do want to know your top five 3D animation. Top five 3D animation. Okay, I'm definitely putting Despicable Me on there. Really? Yes. Uh, Despicable Me is that high? It, let let me tell list. you. Let I me, didn't know she felt that strongly about it. I do, it. and not only not only because of the movie, but Pharrell killed that soundtrack. Boop 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 boop. I'm My having, crazy what I want to say. Oh, y'all doing that one. I was talking about the first one. I'm having a bad, bad day. It's about time that I get my way. I don't know that. It's so fun. It's fire. I was like, come on. Despicable me. We will just let the song play and dance to it. Um, Coco. Coco. Remember me? At the end, I was like, I'm talking about. It was pouring. This was Re- sitting in my throat. <laughs> this was sitting in my throat. I was like, Remember oh my God. Remember me. I, I, I ain't going to hold y'all. 
I often just pull up Remember Me and just listen to it. When I'm on YouTube, I'll be like, mm, let me fire up this really? Remember Me. Let me just listen to that. Let me just. It's such a beautiful. Mm, it's such a beautiful song. That movie is just well written. And it was stuff that I never, like, I didn't understand. Um, Dia de, was it? Dia, Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, I didn't it's understand. It's part of me and Josh's culture. Us Latinx. Yeah. You Latinx. <laughs> you Latinx. Day of the Dead. I didn't understand it, and uh, I was like, "Oh, you taught me something." Mm. I would also have the overall to, concept of the Day of the Dead. Yeah, I didn't understand. It's, it's just to it's a memorial of your family that's passed. Yeah, now I knew from oh. the movie. Oh, I did I not thought, know. Like, but if you movie. forget them, they don't go. And when then he, Hector was almost forgotten. But Grandma Coco, she was she remembered, and she she didn't have no she could she not speak. She looked just like my great grandmother. Angel. I think she, she looked, looked like, like my great grandma too. I was like, I don't remember my great grandma, but she, she, she looked like my grandma though. Oh. She looked just. I was just like, oh my god! But she was so mean. Oh, I remember, remember that. Remember me. Um, I think that I already say I already said Shrek. No, no, I didn't. Shrek would be on there. Uh, I don't think I would put Madagascar, even though I enjoyed it. I'm going through these uh, cars and Mega Mind. Cars is good. I love cars. I love Mega Mind. Mega Mind was funny. I'm gonna tell you mine. Number one, Incredibles. Mm. It's I. I was Bob Parr. Now I didn't used to be something, but I hated my job. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I was like that movie would have been good if it was live action. Mm-hmm. But I, I I really connected. Yeah. Uh, with Incredibles, Incredibles two wasn't bad, but Incredibles one is just it's my it's my favorite animated movie. It's a good one. Uh, Coco, newer one, shot straight to the top. I really much enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Shrek is uh, very funny. Hold on, Goose, let me call you back. I'm uh, doing the podcast. All right, uh, Toy Story. I love them all. They Toy are Story really good. three. Well. It's always between one and three for me. Mm-hmm. One, I was like, yo, this is crazy. It was so good. It was revolutionary. Yeah, it really was. But three, when they was going down in that fire, mm-hmm. and we had been through so much with them, and Lotso was such a freaking great villain. Yeah. He threw him in the fire, and he was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and he ran off, yeah. and they had just resolved to die. Yeah. And then they was just like, we're going to die together. And I was like, wow. <laughs> and then them little aliens, I mean, I, I ain't going to hold you. More than the tear fell. Oh. I was in there like, whoo. And the other one, I probably would say Up. Up was just such I mean, a... I still don't think I've seen Up. Up beat the brakes off you in the first five minutes. My, I took Zay to that movie when he was a kid. I'm talking about we, it was just me and him. <laughs> and popcorn, candy, soda, everything. We just sat down. Mm-hmm. That movie starts off Angel. The dude's wife... Couldn't have kids. Mm -hmm. Then she died. Then he's all alone. Then they want him to sell his house. I was crying so hard. Isaiah was like, Daddy, what's wrong? (laughs) I was like, that that is just... ah." (laughs) Out of here. Uh, (laughs) uh, (laughs) Just he ain't one of the children. He could not remember her now. He can't remember her now. She gone. Oh, Jesus. And he could not understand. Could Honorable mentions, I like uh, Zootopia had such a good lesson. Mm. It was about race relations on the low and prejudice and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Inside Out was Inside Out's probably the next one. Mm-hmm. That was just a fantastic movie. And Bing Bong, I was a little teary eyed when Bing Bong died. Um, I'm like Bing Bong. I'm trying to remember. Uh, Bing I, Bong was inside, the, I don't know that well. That's That's the reason why. Inside Out taught me that joy is important, but so is sadness. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it is, huh? Mm-hmm. I remember going to see Big Hero 6. Oh, my God. You want to talk about waterworks. Really? Oh. It starts off right there. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen it. Josh. It's, oh, I don't it starts this, off. Man. And it's so Josh. Funny. My son. This is how I know my son is my child. My oldest son. I took him to see it. I think he was only... Uh, he might have only been five or six. I took to see it with his best friend and his mom. And the thing, sorry, spoiler alert. The thing happens at the beginning. And the brother was like, not the brother, the best friend was like, what happened? He said, oh, uh, his brother's dead. This is loud in the movie theater. His brother's dead. 
<laughs> I was like, okay, well, all right. You have a very good relation <laughs> with life and death. You understand it happens sometimes. Josh, Big Hero 6 is so good. We were going to Hawaii. Joe watched it on the plane, fully having seen it, cried his eyes out again. We were like, why are you doing this? He was like, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I, I wanted to watch it. Balling. Oh, man. Balling. I was that gets you twice that movie. Yeah, it does. And it gets you early. Yeah, it does. So be careful. Uh I also like the cruise. <laughs> the cruise it wasn't necessarily a great movie. It was very funny, the first one. And I cried at that. I just kind of went to listen to movies that I cried at. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. You're like, I, I like a good animation that makes me cry. Yeah. Um, I uh somebody mentioned, oh, I missed it. Oh, yes, into the spider-verse. Yes. That is a. I don't even think of that as animated. And yeah, it's a movie for adults. You talking about? Yes. What up, danger? He was going through it. He was. Man. He really was. Soundtrack fire That's too. I listen. I was working out. It the, is. I was working out the other day on the treadmill. Please know I was uh, working out to two of the songs on that. This is my jam. Start a riot and in, uh, invincible. Start a riot. What's that? It's uh, right after Invincible. You got to stop feeling invincible. Mm. This is my Spider-Man song. I'm going to play that after. Oh, he like and JoJo one. loves this song. Eh, eh, eh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. Hallelujah. Say, hey, hey. Come on, put your sanctified hands together. Alto say, ooh, ooh, ooh. Needless to say, I keep a check. Say, she was a bad, bad. She is a bad, bad. Baby, don't trip. Okay, now this part of the movie when he was on the wall and he hadn't learned to fly. Yet about sheep. Huh? He hadn't yet learned how to control his web. He hadn't. But he had the training. This scene where he gets his stuff and he falls backward or upside down uh -huh. and the sky is going up. <laughs> you said, wow. What did you choose to do with the Do you get these? For, you're on YouTube pulling this? I yeah, be no, watching we're these. We're definitely getting cut. That's post Malone. Man, it's post Malone. Copyright claims. Uh, we talked about this the other day, though. I know, but I don't care. Nah. There it is. That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. A leap of faith. Big leap. Right, what's up, danger? Woo! This scene. Like, what's up? Oh, this visual. Spider Man wearing Jordans. What was the one you liked, Angel? It's invincible. I got it. Go invincible ahead. Invincible and start a riot. Fire it up, Angel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got a dream, so I can't stop now. I wanna fly, I wanna fly right now. I wanna see all my homies get down. I wanna feel like I can't come down. What you gotta do? I gotta stop feeling invincible. Feeling invincible, feeling impossible. The hardest thing is believing in your dreams. I be singing this to my kids all the time. <laughs> I was like, you got to start feeling invincible. <laughs> okay? The hardest thing is believing in your dreams. And then the, the one that gets me crunk <sighs> is the next one on here. I'll be in the gym. Who hit that? That'd be me. Unruly cousin. Right. Yes. You'd probably be stronger right then. Yes. I bet you'd be stronger when you need to be. What? Oh! I this mean, it is. It's red. That did feel good. It's red. I know you immediately remember. Every day, he all hangs off. So, who up here? Try and start a riot. Kitchen sink. I mean, uh, 
Like I could birth a child to this. I could literally be on the treadmill, birth a child, and then keep running with the child in my arms. Hot hand, John, stop quiet. Uh, I think Kai knows that movie by heart. I call him Miles Morales. My kids, that's one of my favorites. Let's take a quick break before we continue. We want to take a quick break from the show to tell you about Ritual. Listen, we deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies and why, especially when it comes to something we take every day. Ritual is clean, vegan-friendly multivitamins formulated with high-quality nutrients in bioavailable forms your body can actually use. What won't you find? Sugars, GMOs, major allergens, synthetic fillers, artificial colorants, plus the fresh taste and delayed release capsule design make taking your vitamins easy. Listen, I'm a busy dude. I need help with my multivitamins, and that's why I rely on Ritual. I take these multivitamins every day. I feel better, and I don't have to worry about which one's right, what should I trust, what putting in, who is that, what's this. I trust Ritual, and they take care of me. Listen, now available for women, men, and teens, Ritual multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different life stages. Ritual makes healthy habits easy. Your multivitamins are delivered to you Every month with free shipping, always. You can start, snooze, or cancel your subscription anytime. And if you don't love Ritual within your first month, they'll refund your first order. Now listen this. Get key nutrients without the BS. Ritual is offering my listeners 10% off during your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash crew to start your ritual today. Once again, get your 10% off your first three months by visiting ritual.com slash crew, K-R-E-W, to start your ritual today. Really want to take another quick second and tell you about HelloFresh. You get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Look, I kind of get tired of Postmates. I just, I love it, but you know, delivery services, it's, it's just not the most healthy option. A lot of times I prefer home cooked meals, but I don't have the time to do it. We just had some steakhouse pork chops with lemony green beans. Woo-hoo! And the uh, last week we had barbecue meatloaf with honey mustard dressing. And I said, I never had it like this. And that's because HelloFresh took care of us both times. There's something for everyone to enjoy with all recipes designed and tested by true professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure the deliciousness and simplicity get a wide variety of delicious options for all three meals a day plus every snack and special treat in between hello fresh market also green chef is now owned by hello fresh and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from there's something for everyone i love switching between the brands and now my listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount with me your boy kev on stage so listen this go to hellofresh.com slash 14 sk and use code 14SK for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 14SK and use the code 14SK for up to free for up to 14 meals plus free shipping. For up to 14 meals plus free shipping. America's number one hill kit. America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh. And now back to the show. <laughs> In other news, what's up? Penises are shrinking and balls and quality of semen is poorer due to pollution. Did you know this, Josh? I did not. Did you know, Angel? No, no. Penises are smaller on par. Single women in the world. Your penis, your penis availability, smaller. I'm sure coochies is shrinking too. No, nah, coochies is fine. Because the pollution can't get up in there. That's true. Maybe the lips. A little quieter. But there wasn't, <laughs> there wasn't no study to on the lips. I don't know what that was, man. Every pe- penises are like after the pool now. <laughs> <laughs> after the pool. Uh, quality of semen. I can believe that. That's why fertility be high. They be trying to blame it on women, but it be the men. It be the men. You got them silly sperm. The <laughs> sperm. They got the silly sperm. They ain't got the good sperm. Sperm that's just out there playing. They're swimming in circles. Uh huh. Head all heavy. Can't even propel himself. He's like, hey, is it over here? Oh, is it over God. here? Hey. Yeah. Head, head all heavy? Yeah, that's what it is. That little, that little tail can't uh, propel. They hit. 
They got that silly sperm, that stupid sperm. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, stage crew, unruly cousins of the world. Penises are not what they used to be. Now you really can say, in my day, penises was big. Now y'all got all this pollution. Penises is just just small. (laughs) You got to go to like Whole Foods to find you a man that's really like trying to get the uh, pollutants out of his diet. Oh, that is a shame. It's a shame. Who did this study and who said, you know what? There's a lot of pollution. How (laughs) are the penises doing? I saw a lot of smog today, and I could feel my genitalia just tucking back into my body. Like, who decided this is what they were going to study? Somebody has to study it in order there to be, like, a actual, like, result from this. Hey, Joe, how are the penises? We must gather. Uh, and uh, <laughs> In order to study the penises, you've got to measure somebody and then measure them later. Yes. And, be, and you got to be on soft. It just feels so. I mean, it seems like uh, lungs, lung cancer has been going up. Forget all that. What about the penis? Well, maybe the doctors have been like doing, um, you know, men get their. Men don't annual. go to the doctor. We do, man. Probably just gas. <laughs> Get their annual checkup. He's mm-hmm. like, man, I've been touching balls and it ain't what it used to be. Just mm-hmm. looking tiny and tiny. These balls is damn. These balls ain't balling like they used to. <laughs> they not ball- these peens ain't peeing. The whole both now yeah, just picking up with my peony, pinky when I'm examining. These pollution penises just leave much to be desired. Like who? Yeah, I just don't understand. So you think it's a bunch of doctors talking? I no. think the doctors were in the break room like, hey guys, mm. the penis quality is just yeah. ugh. Mm. <laughs> I told my nurse to give me a swab so I could check in there. And I said, just give me a regular size Q-tip because this is just the tiniest of tiny. You too, Bob? Yes. You know what? Let's check with Phil. See if he's feeling the same way. Oh that it seems like the most random study. Yeah. And I'm like, was that a grant? <laughs> it's somebody yeah. running the break room and like... We got the penis study grant. Right. What are you studying? Well, 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 the size. We feel like, <laughs> the size. Feel like it's smaller. The, the, the sperm quality. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that was what it was. They were starting to get uh, sperm samples, <laughs> and they were like, this is just a cup full of silly sperm. What is going on? The silly sperm just had clown hats on. Uh, yes, like, that's Whoa! what it is. <laughs> Go to the egg. Nah, man. Anyway, what I was telling Reggie is if I ever got out into the fluid, I'm going to hang around. I ain't going to go be a father. <laughs> Wait, I ain't rushing exactly. to the top. This is the sperm. Is this, this one, he's going to work at Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. Look at him. Yeah, man. Too many be getting lost in the sauce. You know? Yes, this, one, this one, he's not. This one's a dropout. Lost in the sauce. Death. I wonder if the egg is seeing them coming like, no, no, block him. Mm-mm. Uh-uh, he's going to be a SoundCloud rapper. Uh-uh, mixtape, mixtape, block. <laughs> Swipe left. Seal the Swipe doors. Swipe left. Yeah. A shaft survey, if you will. If you will. Establish. <laughs> but no, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm just surprised that we have, there's like research studies have shown. Studies That's the have part. Shown. There's a woman out there that's been doing the research for us for free. And she was like, stop, listen, I need y'all to know. Ain't nobody hit the back in a long time. <laughs> now, when I was younger, when SWV was at the number one charge, they used to hit the back of that thing. You right, hear me? Right. They used to knock on the back door from the front. Mm-hmm. I say, what you talking? Mm-hmm. Is, is that you or my liver? Mm-hmm. Now they barely in the front door. They over here acting like Jehovah's Witnesses. They barely <laughs> want to peek in the front door. I need you to get aggressive. Yeah, they didn't talk to some sex workers. Slide out is up 67% because oh, of pollution. Slide God. out is Don't be said. sad, man. Slide out is real. I've never heard anyone use the, the I've phrase never heard slide, that. slide out. Mm-mm. Slide out happens. I, it messes up the rhythm. I d- didn't say it doesn't, but I've never heard anyone call it that, the slide out. Yeah, they talk to sex workers. Sex workers would know more than doctors. Oh, That's true. They've been like, the, the, the sperm quality, let me tell you. Battery acid. That's the that's the flavor of the month. And I think it's got to be the pollution. It's got to be. You think the sex worker had the whole thing? Yeah, because when I was doing this in Colorado. <laughs> that would mean that different areas have different. Peens will be bigger in Colorado. It's regional. Go. Regional. Yeah. L.A. would be slow, small peens McGee. Mm. We got smog and haze. These <laughs> penises are like. all of it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm a shell of my former self. 
She like in Colorado. It was great. I mean, these men had logs. Okay. <laughs> The quality. I Do women want humongous peens? I think it's a thing to say, but a lot of times I think women be like, but also, no, it's too much. If you ain't using it right, don't matter what size it is. That's true. It really doesn't That's matter. That's any tool. If, if you ain't using it right, if you got a big old sloppy penis and you just... <sighs> You just ain't doing what you need to be doing. I, what, what am I going to do with this? It'll just be a paperweight. That's how useful you are right now. But I do think there is a size that can be too small. Oh, I think people probably prefer too, too, too big over too small. Too small ain't nothing you could do. I feel like the worst thing. You gotta thing, be really creative. You'd be like, listen, okay, look, don't look at it. See, now you look. <laughs> you need a brainstorm session. No, nah, yeah, you got to come to the table. What can we do? With creativity. Other stuff. You got to research. <laughs> yeah. A little, a little R&D. My right? slide out's 98%. You got to do the research. and But you can. You can do the research and get really good at other things to a company. If you got tiny peen, you got to make sure she reads the promised land before the peen is part of the conversation. You got to be, got to get that lighter going. Yeah. You got to be on the sides. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get to the flicking. Because you just go peen first. And she like, hey, you know, it's, we're you scissoring, me. basically. <laughs> you fingering me with your penis? You fingering me. Ah! I don't know. But no, truly, truly, though. <laughs> truly, truly, truly. We, this is like, it's very Handmaid's Tale-like. I thought that. It's very Because it was the men in Hadman stuff. Do you watch that? Yes, I do. I had to stop. The only reason I had to stop. Go ahead. No, you tell me why. I had to stop because I was like, this is too real of a possibility. Not necessarily the the women part, but white men taking over the government. Mm -hmm. I was like, the thought of that happening, it hit too close to home. It was good acting. That woman, uh, Elizabeth Moss, not Elizabeth Moss. I need them to stop doing such tight close ups on her. Oh, man. I need to add her to my joke. I don't think people know her name. Mm. Listen. I mean, they do the tight, the zoom in. Those, do, they do the zoom. They live on the zoom in. Oh, my God. And she, she makes the harshest facial expressions. It's like she, you would think she thought that they were in a master and that they were far off. <laughs> nope. We're inside of your nostrils. And she's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, ah, enough already. (laughs) Enough. (laughs) It is too much. That nose, the flare is like, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Stop. I'm out. It's bad. That girl be acting, but man. They, I mean, she'd be grimacing in that dang on camera. Woo! Listen, uh, oh, I was about to say Olivia Pope. That's not who I mean. Carrie Washington. No, that's I don't mean her either. I mean, um, uh, Viola Davis ain't got nothing on her. When it comes to making a face, when you're crying and upset, no. Elizabeth wrote the book. You know who else got a pretty tough cry face? Um, Homeland. Elizabeth don't even be crying. No, uh. <laughs> Homeland? Claire Danes, was she in Homeland? Uh, the movie about the dude who was a he was a appeal a prisoner of war. He came back and they didn't know if he was a terrorist or not. A white dude. I ain't see. I ain't watch the show. But go ahead. What's her name? Claire Danes know. crying in that doggone show. Let me see. Angel, she it be tough. Claire Danes, it be tough. Carrie Washington, she don't be crying. She acts with her with her upper lip a lot. Oh, yeah. She's always been someone that's over enunciated and moved her lips more than necessary to get her point across. When I used to be watching the scandal, I used to be like, you're taking me out of it. It's it's a lot. Oh, I'm You've looking at pictures of Claire me. Dane crying, and it's terrible. <laughs> Claire Dane crying. It's Angel. I'd be like, just give her what she wants. Just... <laughs> Pull the camera out. Pull the wide. Two shot, two shot. Somebody did super cut. Super cut of her cry face. Claire Danes? Yes. She also was crying in that show a lot. Yeah, that's Angel, probably why they did it. Angel, she cried a lot. So much that's, crying. Oh, they really put this together. This is so rude. <laughs> 
just oh crying. my god. god like <laughs> they really did that. I need that money. I need that money. Oh, oh yeah. That's the word. Look, no, keep it going. Keep it going. He said, let's see more. <laughs> I mean, just cuts of her crazy face. <laughs> oh, man. Brian, what's his name? But White. You know, yeah, uh-huh, Brian. I White. tricked him on Twitter one time. Why you trick him? Because he was like something about prison. And I was like, nah, jail is great. And I had my profile picture of me in Rikers Island. He's like, me, you brother, you need to tell me you ain't ready to get out of there. And I was like, nope. You so dumb. <laughs> I love jail. Kev on like, prison. We got to be better, black man. I was like, nah, jail. <laughs> Kev on bars. Woo! She makes the worst. She has had a solid career, though. That's what I, I was like. What I've noticed out of this is that <laughs> I don't need to call myself an actress because. I've been knowing about her. I didn't realize I see this many things with her in it. She works. And she got Homeland late. That was like maybe seven years ago. No. Oh, God. You got, when, when you are a white woman, you have to be able to do that, though. They, they, they don't give you an option. You got to be vulnerable. Tears got to be right there. Right Yuck. there. Right there. That's why SNL did a sketch about her crying. Um. Yeah, no, but uh, Elizabeth uh, is way worse than her. I don't care what anybody says. Mm-mm. Elizabeth just be nostrils flared. Gri- I mean, just and she's one of the ones that the, in the in the show they're always like talking about. Yeah, she, and she's beautiful. I was like, so times gonna got hard here in the <laughs> in Gilead. There is a bomb in Gilead. <laughs> There is a bum in That show is crazy, though. And I could see that happening. Man, what? That's why I'm glad I gave birth to boys. Listen. <laughs> the, like, the, the, the sex with the wife there? Oh, my God. Where they're just holding. The that sex wasn't. It did not slap in Handmaid's Tale. Ugh. No, that was that was color purple. Seely I mean, said well, it was rape. So that's why it was absolutely 100 percent. Yes, I'm sorry, because this is the second episode that I've been doing this. And I am taking out my braids because my hair is getting done tomorrow. And I figured it's for black people anyway. It's for black people anyway. There is a TikTok that I posted today as we shoot this. This is much earlier than when this aired. This black kid, Khalil Green. Who is the first student body president? Amanda Seals had posted of Yale. It too. Yes, I had, I actually follow him on Twitter. Uh huh. I mean, uh, not Twitter uh, on TikTok. TikTok, bruh. The his his post. If you saw it on Instagram when I posted it, it's basically how Gen Z culture is nothing but black culture whitewashed. At one hundred percent. And the crazy thing is, when I see these trends, I already know. Like right now, sheesh and light skin face and. Ice in my veins. Like, I remember when D'Angelo uh, Russell was doing this. Mm-hmm. I remember Ice in my veins stuff. The, the thing that's frustrating is that people don't, white kids legitimately don't even know. They just think this is stuff on TikTok. Ah. The thing about black people, we may not be a big part of society. We may not have the most money. But boy, America would be so whack. Oh, yeah. If we didn't create everything. Every everything fun, all the music, all the dance, all the slang, all the Sir. culture, all the fashion. We are so. Lit. It's all derivative of us. Yeah. We we are the kings and queens of making it do and making it pop. Mm. And by the time the whole world's on it, we'd be like, all right, we done. We done I remember when world. Bling Bling was everybody was saying it, and then when they did on MTV, Bling Bling, I was like, well, it's over. <laughs> Yeah, we be and he's doing God's rap. work, letting people know where it really came from. I mean, he is breaking it down all the way to the breaks. It was so great. Anyway, we're going to take a quick break. Right. Want to take a quick break to tell you about Ship Station. Listen, I'm passionate a lot about a lot of stuff. Stand-up comedy, art, travel, music, movies, painting. I enjoy it. I'm not good at it, but I enjoy it. And guess what? We all have those things that we love to do. Passions that push us up to do big things in life. Like maybe selling your crafts online. All out of a deep burning love for logistics and order management. No, no, it's not that part. We just want to make our stuff. We don't want to have difficulty selling it. Okay, because that part sucks. But that's why there's ShipStation. ShipStation is the number one 
choice of online sellers. You can import orders from any sales channel, ship with any carrier, use ship stations, deeply discounted rates, and automate just about any shipping task. No wonder 100,000 plus online sellers choose ship station. I've told you guys before, and I'll tell you again, we did not have a good process for our merchandise. I'm wearing one of my shirts right now. And one of the reasons that we suck so bad is because there was too many orders coming in from all different places. We had no streamline way to do it. And that didn't change until we met ShipStation. Because no matter how you sell, Shopify, Etsy, your own website, ShipStation funnels all your orders into one simple interface that you can match from anywhere, even your cell phone. Here's the thing you need to listen to. Ship more in less time. For a lot less money, just use my offer code CREW, K-R-E-W, to get 60-day free trial. That's two months free of no hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone on the top of the page, and type in CREW, K-R-E-W. That's ShipStation.com. Enter offer code CREW, K-R-E-W. Make ship happen. And now, back to the show. All right. Welcome back to the show. This is an interesting story we saw. What is? Tell me. A couple chained themselves together for three months in an ultimate test of love. Which makes me want to ask you, Angel Tanksley, how long do you think you and Marcus could last chained together? We wouldn't. We wouldn't. Not even a little bit? Not even a little. Marcus is one does not like to be restrained at all. Mm. So then chained? Break every chain. With me? If there was money at the end of it, if it was a... Nope, just a testament to your love, Angel, to see how much you love each other. We're going we gonna to make a bunch of money to show how much we love each other. That's how we'll, it'll be our testament. We we would not make it. He'd be like, who are we proving this to? He'd be like, beef, you don't know I love you by now, you stupid. <laughs> that would be what he would say. Half of you stupid. Yeah, you don't know I love you right now. By now, you stupid. Yeah. That, You'd be like, that, that's mine. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's mine. <laughs> now, now go stick, <laughs> stick beside him. <laughs> Man, that's so funny. Yes, that would be me. <laughs> I'm going to stick beside him. I told Liz to make one because I've done so many dumb things. Mm-hmm, that's mine. Look at this creep. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Now, go stick beside him. I'm going to stick beside him. Yeah. I don't... <clears throat> I can't imagine Melissa and I doing something this, like this to prove our love. Our, us being married for 17 years proves our love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 17 you don't, think, years by you now. don't think chains would make more change together for six months wouldn't show it more? No. I think chained together for six months would cause strain. People we need to miss their lovers. Listen, the type, the kind. Of sex me and Marcus are going to have because of me being on tour. It's going to be amazing. Listen, <laughs> let me tell you what. It's great. <laughs> I already know. Not having sex. Then having it again. Missing missing someone. You be like, we get my nerves. Then they be gone. be like, you know what? Yeah, my nerves you. ain't been gone on. I miss you. I miss you here in <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. You here in How do we not know each other? <laughs> Angel is I, so I miss funny. you in, in my body, inside of my body. My body. I want to feel it. here. <laughs> Get here. Yes, that is that will be me. She's been saying oh! a different look at who you <laughs> came to see. Mm-mm-mm. I miss you. Yeah. All up in my body. <laughs> I miss you. Why? Honey, pussy. Listen, I ain't gonna hold you. Melissa was like, this is so funny. I was talking to Danny about something. She said, ooh, me and Melissa having a girls weekend when you go on tour. I, I ain't, I'm here. No, no, we, we, we was like, when you was gone, we was gonna do the stuff that was gonna be fun. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Bill Burr's wife was like, oh, I can't wait till we go back on the road. <laughs> get on. It's uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah. You know, the black woman in LA, when Josh is gone, Oh, family. down to all the music events, they're gonna be like, I ain't got no Josh. Where's know. my spicy chili pepper? Uh, yeah. Where's my Latinx? Yeah. <laughs> Josh got Latinx. Yeah. Where's <laughs> the little Latinx? They're gonna be busy. And Mark is gonna have the boys. No, nah, they're gonna be uh, in uh, Kentucky for most of the summer. So it's about Man. to be unruly for real. Y'all gonna have the whole house. And it'll be clean because I won't be there because Marcus keep, keep a clean house. Really? Oh, yeah. The fact that Angel's the messy one, and she's like, I told him, if you want to be with me. <laughs> it's her, then the it, voice. It's, listen. Yes. 
She said that uh it's so funny. She said y'all you, you said y'all was in uh not training, but uh what's it called before you get married and you talk to people? Premarital counseling. Premarital counseling. And the therapist was like, Look, <laughs> she's not gonna be this. This is who you got. You know this, you know that about her. <laughs> But I want to, but it's not. <laughs> it's not who I am. Melissa said something on the Love Hour that really struck me. 69% of, of relationship problems are... Perpetual. Perpetual, uh, we, we talked about it on uh, The Bald and the Did Beautiful. Did we talk on TBTB? TBTB. Was we down there, Jonathan? Yeah. You were down on The Bald and the Beautiful? Yeah, it's the same, the same place I'm, I always am is doing these buttons. <laughs> so you would rather be away from Marcus for three months than chain together for three months. I mean, I would miss him. I would miss him terribly for three months. But if I was away for three months and making money, Angel uh, works, man. I do. I work. You do. Angel works. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing. I'd be like, man, sit down. In less than five years, I will be a millionaire. Come hell or high I, water. I'd be surprised if it took you three. <laughs> I'm going to I, do I'm it. I'm dead serious. Well, thank you. I want all my friends. And I ain't, I'm not even saying I have anything to do with this. Oh, you I'm do. I'm saying Angel so going to book that thing. <laughs> if you believe me, just sow 10% back into the ministry. <laughs> Angel going to book that thing. I might, I might post your deadline article before you do. <laughs> and I don't usually do that. I'm going to be having my Google alerts. <laughs> if you, When you book that. By the way, totally random. Did you see Quinta Brunson's, she created a show called Abbott Elementary. Mm -mm. It's about teachers, I believe, in Philadelphia. Her, Janelle James, comedian, supposed to do Keep Your Distance, but she had booked something. I think it might have been this. Uh, Cheryl Lee Ralph. Let me look it up. Anyway, Quinta created her own sitcom on ABC. Yep, on ABC. I knew that. I didn't, hadn't seen what it was going to be. Angel, though. this dog on trailer, this movie, I mean, this TV show looks so freaking good. Because that's why she's not on Black Lady Sketch Show anymore. I, I mean, yeah. hey, she, ah, you going? Everybody knows, and they ordered it, so it is. It got picked up. Angel, it's in. If oh. the hierarchy is the big three, four, really big mm -hmm. three: ABC, NBC, CBS. Yes. If you get a network show created by Quinta created Brunson, by single cam. Single wow. cam? Wow. And they got kids. It's about an elementary school. Wow. Wow. So anyway, when your deadline article comes out, starring Angel, I'm going to have it posted. <laughs> let the show air first. Shoot. Nah, so you know, they Angel. They like it to let me go. So they I ain't going to let you go. This, this time it's going to be different because, see, you're going to have the angel be. wings to your back. Nah, be like, Stay come through. on, ladies and gentlemen, we're riding out. We're riding out. Oh, the fact that it got picked up. It's, it's in there. Over. And it's, you know what it is? It looks fresh. Mm -hmm. I have not wanted to watch network television. In a long time, huh? Man, I can't even tell you the last show I was like, probably This Is Us. The first couple of seasons where I was like, I'm excited about this. It's, it made you feel good. Man. Would you count Snowfall's network? Snowfall's on FX. I thought that was regular TV. Network is, when people say network, they usually mean... ABC, the channels that used to be CBS, 1 through 13. Fox, ABC, it. NBC, CBS, Fox. The ones that be in the hotels. Yes. yes. Got it. Cable, FX, premium, HBO. Got it. Okay. And I streamers. Just, I, I believe, honestly, now streamers probably pay. The thing about networks that's that, while they're premium, Angel probably can attest to this. They be having a lot of episodes mm -hmm. and the royalty, the residuals be a lot because they be selling yes. them and they be running them. And they have... You got to think they have original content from the top of the day to the, about the end, except for some of the, like the syndicated that fills in right before the yeah. news comes on. Yeah. But they've got soap operas during the day. They've got all the news shows during the day. They got the game shows. Most of these cable shows don't have that much mm. like new stuff that yeah. is just coming out yeah. all the time. So they got the money. And then also the um, advertisement be just ridiculous. That's crazy ridiculous oh wonder years got picked up you know they're doing black that. wonder years they doing a that black was my wonder show years. as a kid uh, i thought i loved winnie yeah that was a great show no I, I thought she was pretty though she yeah she was her and she topanga was. was probably the two white girls that i was like topanga and kelly from cute. uh say by the bell i, I so kelly. was not into pilot usually i'm all about pilot season that's how much cab on stage studios has got all of my freaking time i forgot pilots were getting picked up and pilots were getting 
uh, trash. Really? I forgot. Like I've the, been taking up that much. You don't know about the yes, finals. I didn't. Me and Breesha were talking about it the other day, and um, we were talking about uh, 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 the. It's one called Black Don't Crack that had that was starring Gina. Her name, real name, ain't Gina. Yashere or Rodriguez. Neither one. Gina from Martin. Tisha oh, Campbell. Tisha Campbell. <laughs> Tisha, oh, you talking? I said her real name ain't Gina. <laughs> Tisha Campbell, it has Sherry Shepard, and it had Essence Atkins. Uh, and it was multi-cam. I auditioned for it. I had a solid audition, but I knew they were going to cast throwbacks. It didn't get picked up. Every time they do this. But I knew. I was just like, oh, there's too you many know what's of us gonna be, not you, working. This going to be what I'm, when, when you start booking, somebody's going to be mad at you like you be mad at them. Bobby. Like, oh, they, they're going to give Angel another job. And you're going to be like, yep, <laughs> buy me another Porsche. <laughs> Another Lexus. <laughs> but everybody a Lexus. People who don't want them. I was like, Kev, you got a Lexus sitting outside your house. Joshy, it's right beside the Tesla. You can't even get to the Tesla because I parked so close to That's it. That's hilarious. There's your Lexus. Low key, I thought about buying the Tesla uh, as my next car anyway. But when that dog on gas shortage thing happened, I was it. like, man, I need to get me a Tesla. And then somebody was like, oh, the electrical gig can get hacked by hackers. And I was like, nothing. No, you can't do nothing. You can, can, can you shut charge up. a can uh, shut Tesla up. on a generator? Or is it not strong enough? You can. I mean, you can plug it into anything with an outlet. It just won't charge. I can charge plug it in as, right it, here? Yeah, it won't charge as fast, but. Oh, it's like the, like the charger on an airplane for your mm -hmm. phone. It don't be going good. Yeah. Oh, the Upshaws is really good. That, that Everybody said that. It's really good. I would say it's um, neck and neck with the Jamie Foxx one. I know you love that one. I, I do feel strongly about that. It's a very good show. <laughs> but the oh, Upshot was, is actually who really. Was, Kev, who's the other guy on that? Uh, David Allen Greer? No, no, no. The other guy. <laughs> who's the other guy? Yeah. I can't. I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Who's the other guy? I can't because David Allen. He said goodbye to the, to the other guy. Other, just, dude. Oh, the other dude. The other dude. Dude. Me, I'm other dude. He was, other dude. He called David Allen. Other dude. Oh, sorry. Other dude. oh, he did call you that. No, uh, the Upshots is actually quite funny. Listen, you know Mitch Marchand is the head writer of that. That's what you. That's what did you tell me that? Yeah. He's the guy who tells uh, who tells Omar Epps, "You got the juice in juice." And he, he he put Marlon Wayans in them too. By the way, Marlon Wayans looks, uh, he's he's playing uh, maybe just for I mean uh, Aretha Franklin's husband mm -hmm. in the Aretha uh, movie. Mm -hmm. and he looks good. Oh no, it is. It's about to be amazing. It look. I think she 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 looks like Malcolm as Denzel, uh, Angela Bassett as Tina, Jamie as Ray. Like you were, I was born to she play this person in a biopic. I. I can't wait to see her performance. I'm not going to get too. I'm not going to get my hopes up high. I'm mm. going to keep them low for her performance. And I'm hoping that she soars past them. But that Marlon, I know, is about to act his whole entire tail off. Let me tell you what. Comedians in dramatic roles, they can go. Oh, they always do. They always. They can get there, man. The upside. The upside. Kevin Hart is my favorite movie of him yeah. acting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was Really That's good in like, that. Oh, you could, you should really just be for real acting. That he has a new movie coming out called Fatherhood, I believe. Okay, on Netflix, mm -hmm. and also it looks like a dramedy, dark comedy to dramedy mm -hmm. about his him raising a daughter. His wife died mm -hmm. in the trailer. I was like, I mean, I always thought Kevin could act. Yeah, but yeah. he didn't. In the comedy, you're not able to show your chops as much. Well, and you acting chops there's in there's too drama. much pressure on. The weight of being the funny guy in the movie yes. when everybody's seen every one of your mannerisms in Dude, the punch Jamie already. Foxx, one of my favorite performances of him is is in Collateral. Oh, yeah. With Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I enjoyed him in Baby Driver. Oh, he's fantastic As the villain. in that. He's fantastic in that. Jamie, I was thinking about this. When I played the ba Brady Bunch song, I was trying to think of other actors, men or women, who are as talented as Jamie Oh yeah, Jamie. And is. I couldn't think of I couldn't think of people who are like he can sing. Mm -hmm. He could sing if he if he was only an R and B singer, he'd be solid. Play mm -hmm. the keys. He can play. Yeah. He can act. Yeah. And his stand up is great. Jamie Foxx is so talented. Mm -hmm. It's like unfairly talented. Yeah. It's like God was like, I'm gonna give you all of these. But you and know, he can do impressions. 
That's oh, the no. thing. Like the like <clears throat> certain things of his, I feel like okay, yeah, you you learned how to play the piano at a young age, so you know now you're good at it, right? Mm-hmm. But like he is in stand up, I think extremely funny, mm-hmm. and then his impersonations, he's so good at. There's just certain certain things that you realize, no, that just came out of him. That's listen. He does an impersonation of a of a football coach. He is um, recently. This was like last week. Listen to his voice on this. Guys, guys, I know all of you. I know where your family's from. I've been in your house, but now that you're on the field, you're mine. Okay, quarterback, my quarterback. When you come out, what are you doing? You're floating too far back. It causes too much over here. I want you to come down the line. Read the defense. The defensive end. What'd you do last week? Oh, you didn't read. Look at. I'm in the background. I'm dancing. I got scholarship money. I don't give a rat. No. Excuse my friend. You come here. Easy. Easy read there. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me, son. Come at me. The forearm shiver here. Turn right around toward for the pants. Okay? I love all you guys. But I can't have all of you on the field. Why is he so, so good at that? He, he tells his story. I want this movie to come out very badly. He tells his story about the opening the of the Mike Tyson movie. Uh-huh. Where he's like, he's making the sound effect of that boxing uh, gloves make. He does Mike Tyson's voice. He's been doing it for like five, six years now. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I would buy the movie ticket off of you just explaining the opening scene. Yeah. Do you think there's anybody in your mind that has that talent as him that could do maybe not stand up, but like do three, three of those things as well as Jamie. Ooh, that's such a good question. That's such a good question. In the Patreon, they're saying Wayne Brady and Craig Robinson, Wayne Brady, he can sing, he can act. I don't know if he can do stand up. and Craig, he Craig can, pull- can he, I wouldn't Craig. I don't. His he's not a singer to no. me. He can play the piano. Oh, Donald Glover. There was a debate on if he's as good as Jamie. I don't think comedic. So. No, I think people just really that, enjoy the vibe of Donald Glover. Yeah, I'm, I I love Donald. I mean, Charles Gambino as his music persona as well. Like he's very talented, but I wouldn't put him in the ring as, with Jamie. Yeah. Do you think he's as you think he's good at acting, singing and uh rapping? Or I guess he can rap, sing, act and do stand up. I think what it is about Donald Glover is that he doesn't care. So he does for me what I mean by that is to me Donald Glover does not have the traditionally sounding beautiful voice not to my ears. Mm. Like it's not that his voice sounds bad I know at what all. I know exactly what you it's, mean. He, his voice matches his music. Exactly. But he was rapping first though, wasn't he? Yeah. I As just, a rapper did you enjoy him? I wasn't like, "Oh yeah, let me go listen to him." He was super I think, underground. Yeah. I feel like he's like this is what I want to do. I'm going to do it. I don't care what the traditional rules sure. are. Yeah. So that's what I mean by Donald don't care. Yeah. If he wants to do it, he's going to do it. I respect and that too. I, I do, do too. too. I respect that. But I, I would not put him on the same level as Jamie. Yeah, I, I feel that. like no Jamie way. is in the traditional sense really good. Like if you went by the traditional standards of mm-hmm. what a good voice sounds like, what a great piano I mean, he could have like. a career in any of those lanes if he only did that. That's and I don't know what if- I mean. I don't know if child. Well, he he did have a stand-up career. He did have an acting career, and he did have a music career. Yeah, it wasn't on the same level as Jamie, but I think if he decided he was only doing one of those, he probably would still have success. I think a lot of that is his chutzpah, though. I think a lot of that is I'm going to do this. I think yeah. there's a lot of people if they had that type of like tenacity yeah. to be like, no, I'm going to make this music that I think sounds good to me, even if it's not what is the most popular thing happening and it'll make its own path. In the comments they're saying Maya Rudolph is my favorite. I love Maya. She's she's Minnie Ripperton's daughter. Mm-hmm. Her acting is amazing. Mm-hmm. I've never seen her do stand up. I don't think she does stand up. She sings though. She sings. She did she had a variety show once. Um I think I mean I don't know if she's a triple threat, but she's definitely a double she's threat. She's a good double threat, but I don't think she does three. 
I can't think They're of saying them. Drake. I don't. Drake is a good actor. He's a good rapper. And he's kind of funny, but I don't think he'd be good enough to. And are they saying he's a good singer? Well, to me, that's music. Whether you're singing or rapping, you're, you're doing music. Okay. Uh, I think Drake's a good singer for a rapper. I don't think he's a singer for a singer. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Eddie Murphy, he stand up is there. His, his music, voice. I don't think is. <laughs> you know, we just, Eddie Murphy it has a lot of, he's, he has a lot of balls. And he was like, I'm a sing. I'm a sex symbol and I'm a sing. He was great as Jimmy Early, though. His voice was perfect for Jimmy Early, and I still think he should have got an Oscar for that. Oh, he absolutely should have. But I wouldn't say if Eddie Murphy was to solely produce, pursue a music career, he would have success like right. that. No, I did. But superstardom from acting and stand up, I don't think nobody do. comes close to what he did there. Nah. Because he was in stand up, television, and film. Nobody was doing that like that. He's, but that's different than what Jamie does. He's crazy. I'm trying to think of uh, somebody else. I'm sure there's tons of women that actually do That's all That's what I'm thinking, them. too. Jennifer Lopez, she's she's mediocre at so many things. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she is. is. She's I mean, a good dancer. Mm -hmm. The Tinks. <laughs> the Tinks. The Tinks, Tinks, Tinks. I would say, you know what? I'm going to big up my, my sis, uh, Brisha. Once people get to know her for what she is, I think Brisha's Brisha can sing talent. her face off. Really? Yes, it's so agitating, so agitating. She was so funny on Sherman Show Showcase, right? And she's playing around. Yes, Brisha's really talented. She can do friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. She she's in an episode that you all should have already seen. Yes. Um, but you know this is future time that we're talking. Uh, Just, uh mask off. She can do really good impersonations. Like her tiny impersonation is what made her go viral. Oh, man. It's one of the best. She does a really good Dolly Parton. She does a really good Tony Braxton. We uh, must have her do those things in the past. This is an episode of Tenet. <laughs> You're watching this in the future. It's recorded in the past, but you've seen this thing in the, f in yes. the present. <laughs> She's a dancer. <laughs> Really? Yes. I didn't know what about Babisha's Well. Yeah, she's a dancer. She's tiny. And she does and she does stand up. Angel Tanksley. <laughs> if you ask me, Angel can sing, Angel can dance, Angel can act, and Angel can do stand up. And that, I can rap because And, and she can rap. rap. She barred me up. Low key. I I don't know if I told you this. When I got your yours back, I was like, hmm, maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I was like, maybe I should just do a little half. Because I didn't say rap that long. You said you can go all the way to the If the you chorus. wanted to. I thought you was going to do like the piece I did. You flipped the beat and I was like, oh, cool, cool. I, I, thought, I thought I did what you, you said. You, you can did, go all the way you to and I said, me. okay. No, but as a black to... man, as a black man supporting black women, I let you. Listen, no, fat you outshine can't. Toby on 5-5. Five, five. Oh, she. I, told, I said, Toby, you had a solid 10 and 10. <laughs> Ta fat went for 48, 12, and 16. <laughs> and she's so tiny but so feisty. She is. She said, she you is. don't take care of your kid? What's that make you? <laughs> oh! That is probably my favorite line. That's probably my favorite oh. line. Um, Mama Dorothy, man, she wrote Peter Kane. Peter Kane. She's a, a rapper Computer at Computer engineer? Yeah, she's done stand-up. She's done. That's Mama Dorothy. <laughs> That's Mama Dorothy. <laughs> Super talented. But yeah, no, I'm, I, I am trying to think of like celebrities that we know. But a lot of times I feel like people feel the pressure to to be a thing. That's the reason why I feel like Donald Glover did so well is because he did not take on the pressure of, oh, I have to be an yeah. actor. No one will take my rapping or singing or stand up career seriously. He's, I don't care what I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there are probably other people who have really amazing talents but they feel as though they have to focus on this that's one actually to be taken seriously the thing about jamie that he's always said is he wanted to make it in music he couldn't mm. so he did other stuff so that he could do music yeah it wasn't that he 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 didn't want to do i mean it wasn't that he wanted to do stand-up or acting mm -hmm. they were just like no boy this is the music industry yeah enough but he's had man uh what's his one song without alcohol blame it Yes. That oh, Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah what? It's just acting and singing. Yeah, I'm like, we're missing. Uh, a, it's the third one. It's that third thing that like is the, oh, okay. So and the writing usually isn't considered. Malta Hafenitz who can like act, 
mm-hmm. and seeing and write people writing. They always put that in a different yeah thing because it's not a performative like right. a yeah I guess yeah it's not a performance thing. Chris Brown no. What? Ain't no way. Chris Brown can act and he can, but I mean, I wouldn't even say he's a great actor. No, he can he's, sing and dance and we, we tolerate him acting because yeah. it works for whatever the character is going to be. Like he ain't blown me away. We know that character has to dance. So we will listen to right. him. We, cause we know we're about to get to a, a, a dance routine. <laughs> it's not like, we're like, Oh my God, wait until he does this Shakespeare. We are not. <laughs> I'm going to say something and I know the blacks aren't going to like it. Go ahead. Chris Brown's This Christmas I like more than Donny Hathaway's. Oh, I can I can feel that. You can? I can feel it. You think the blacks will be upset? Yes. Absolutely. But Ain't it is a good no one. The mistletoe. He brings it up. Get to know. Oh, that, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you better. Okay, triple <laughs> threat. Man. Stand up. I- Singer, what you play? Twelve instruments. I do play, but I'm I'm mediocre at best. The, the, the no, that is not mediocre. Mediocre at best. All my instruments. That's not mediocre. You actually can play them. You're no, just not but proficient. I'm I'm a. If I was he really like to play the bass again, do. like if I really played, you, I'd be okay. Whatever. I'll be. That's what I want to do. My one show. But ah, the blacks of uh, the Patreon has not been. They they're like, I get it. They're okay. Chris brightens it up. It feels like it was a good. It was like American Idol. They like they made that their own. Mm-hmm. He's not trying to be Donny Hathaway. Donny Hathaway is a classic. Yeah. But I, but Chris is also, and I just like. I always listen to both. Mm-hmm. But I listen to Chris's first. I'm excited about this Christmas this year because we're in our new house and I'm going to have a monstrosity of a tree. Invite me over. You're always invited. I want to come and lay on that couch. I ain't going to be satisfied to lay on the couch. We have a guard keeping you out. You can drive by and park in front of our driveway. That my dog. I went though. to y'all house. Like him this, he'd be like, I'm like my dog, man. Last time I hang out with Marcus, I had a headache the next day. Oh, Kevin drank. Kevin a drink. I tried to drink a whole bunch of water the next day. <laughs> oh, Jack Black. Huh. Jack Black doesn't do stand up though. But he sings, he acts, and he plays. He plays the guitar, but to me, that's still music. And I love Jack. Yeah. Tenacious D, he could have a music career only. They, they he could have an acting, acting career right. only. But what's the third career? That's what I'm saying. But he, his guitar playing is probably better than Jamie's piano playing. Mm-hmm. But it's the, he never did stand up. And I love Jack. Jack is one of the reasons I'd be like, I don't have to be thin. Jack doesn't. He be does. thin, and he gets every role he wants to get. He gets serious. He gets funny. He gets it all. He's and great. they talk about School of Rock, man, was a great movie. And he was, the, the little black girl was like, I don't want to be fat. He was like, man, I'm fat. Because I be eating. And I was like, this is me, Jack. You, like, you get it, Jack. Anyway, love you guys. God bless you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being an unruly cousin, for hanging out with us, for being a person <laughs> like us. Uh, we love you guys. We love you. God bless you. God keep you. The other conference, Steve Martin. What he played the banjo, he had a singing career. I never saw a stand up. His stand up is is zany. Oh. He had a guitar come down off a string and he played it. It, it was comedic stand up, it was like anything I've ever seen. He acted, we're, we're still going. There's another thing of fire. There's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another one. Here's another bang of fire. Here's another bang of fire. With my boy Kev on stage. And that chick angel.